Yes, my people, I will get to the moment where everybody loves the cast. They book me up on the road and tell me, hey, I just see the program, and wonderful, and we got some artists where they come from all about, and then really, really, they give some wonderful interviews, so we just stick to the program, and like, more a wonderful man, wonderful. And we got the, the virtual interview right here with a Jamaican artist, most direct from Kingston, Jamaica, and his, he is the manager. Welcome to the program, brother. Yes. Yes, man, man, man. Well, respect, respect, respect to family. San Andreas family, you don't know the music family. <laughs> welcome, welcome yeah. to the music for us. It's a pleasure to have you here. So share with us all your music experience with all our tele audience. We know already that yeah. you come to San Andreas. Talk to us about that experience, how you were, were passing the days here so in San Andreas. I'm sorry, what, what was the last part? We know already that you come to San Andres, you know, or island. Comment to us yeah, about that yeah. experience when you come, which in, in which year you come. How was that experience? Yeah, that was lovely. It was lovely. So I, I can't wait to get to be back. You know, I want things to get back to normal. So, you know, I can visit places like the San Andres Island. The love for reggae music there was mind blowing for me. You know, your, your, your people really love and embrace the reggae music and that was a surprise my first time I was there, your beaches, your hotel, your food. It was my birthday too, the last time I was there. So wow. uh, well, 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 one of the, the kitchen staff sang happy birthday for me. So it was like I was home. Oh, wow. It was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Very wonderful. <laughs> and um, before yeah. you, uh, you arrived to the, um, to the island, did you know anything about, did anyone tell you anything about the island or you find out what you was facing after you arrived here? No, I, I had no idea. Um, I, I had no idea of, of the island. I heard the name before, but I, I really didn't know honestly what to expect. But everything was a pleasant surprise, man. The people, everybody was cool. You know, your, 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 the food, as I say, was good. The beaches, our hotel was on a beach, and it was beautiful, man. It, it was beautiful. I, I wish we had extra days. You know, next time we'll, we'll make sure we book we book extra days after the show. You know, <laughs> gotta, gotta wait till, uh, yeah. till this COVID situation finish, and then you can come uh, back, can come back to the island because you know you are welcome. Yeah. Let's go, let's let's uh, return back to your beginning, and and you can mm -hmm. uh, explain us a little bit about your beginning in music. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Well, discovered the talent in mid high school, you know, and then started singing in a group. And that group, we were doing a lot of, you know, shows. Most of the shows we weren't recording really, or releasing music. We were mostly doing shows and, and stuff. Cabaret shows, barbecues, wedding, you know, you name it. <clears throat> but then, you know, I wanted to, to do a little more than that. You know, I wanted to record my own songs. And there was five, five brothers, five different minds. So I branched off, no animosity. I still keep in touch with the guys even today. And I branched off and being major was born right there. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> we started the journey on, on, on a big yard, you know, and, and, and I'm still, still, you know, big yard is still a part of my musical family. Big yard, penthouse music, Donovan Jeremy and that, you know what I'm saying? And when I say big yard, I mean Robert Livingston, very dominantly, you know? Big up to Shaggy, who my first tour, I, I went on the road with Shaggy, you know, um, wow. and that was for like three months, and this was my very first tour. So imagine you leaving home. And your very first tour for three months. But big up Shaggy still, you know. Learned a lot from that. You know, of how, how a tour is run. You know, you can look yourself, you know, on a tour and what is required of you. It's a lot of work. It is a, it's a sleep, lot of sleepless nights, a lot of traveling. Very toxic on your body, but we know what it takes and, and we're prepared for all of that. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's nice, that's nice. In which moment of yeah. your life, you decide that it's music is what you want to do the rest of your life. Oh. Shortly after, after I started singing with a group, you know, shortly after I started singing with a group, you know, just, just how, 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 how I was feeling, how music, how performing, you know, was making me feel, you know, it's the only thing that makes me feel like free, like, you know, there's nothing that compares to it, so. Yeah, very early, as soon as I started singing, I would say mid-high school, yeah, man. <laughs> very, very wonderful. Uh, can you uh, yeah. let us talk a little bit about um, your first song, your first uh, release you made yeah. ever in history, um, when you get that first song 
in front of people, mm -hmm. so people get to know you. And how, how yeah. was that the sensation you feel inside you when you say, okay, I have a song on the street? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's still a feeling that you don't get used to, even up to today. Well, me personally, like when, 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 when you create a song from nothing and you go on stage and, you know, you hear the audience, you hear the masses singing this song that you have created from nothing. And wow. it's, it's, there's no, this is what I'm telling you, that, that is why this is my passion. You know, there's not, no other feeling like this. The first song I would say that I received that from was a song called Can't Get Enough. We have the video as well. Oh, if you go on my Viva page, D major Viva, Can't Get Enough. The search Can't Get Enough. That was my very first song that gave me that, that recognition and, and thing, you know what I'm saying? In Jamaica and, and in the Caribbean as well. Yeah. <laughs> we know that artists, artists yeah. live, artists live is, is a life that then costs them a lot to have plenty mm -hmm. public, plenty fans on when them on stage. Mm -hmm. Party 2020 was yeah. very hard for a lot of artists. Comment to us how mm -hmm. you do, how you get through through 2020. What you do on that time of like recess uh, that everyone had yeah. to get around the world. Yeah, personally, I'll be honest, right? Personally, yeah. um. I, I I am happy how I, how I operate, you know, because I wasn't I was not a uh, uh, person squander money a lot, <laughs> you know what I say. So and that man for kind of um kind of sustain me during 2020, you know, it's just the grace of the Almighty as well. Because you know everything shut down, we stopped working and, and all of that, you know. So being smart, you know, um came around and and, and helped me sustain, you know, doing all of that still. And um. I started my label as well. So 2020 afforded us a lot of time. So I'm start my, 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 my label. Um, so I'm able to produce and co-produce now. You know what I say? So I can have a hand on all of my work if, if, if that's the case. And even did get a chance to even up my fitness more in 2020. So yeah, man, 2020. There, there, there's blessings even even in, in, in a pandemic, I, I believe. Yeah. Okay, very wonderful. Uh, yeah, right now, right now, you're working on anything? Um, you got any plans? Um, any music doing uh, for the 2022? Cause 2021 is almost yeah, mm -hmm. six months go already. So, um, you have yeah. a song that you have uh, projecting towards the market in the future? Of course, always. I, I just got back from the studio. <laughs> um. But what I want the massive to concentrate on right now, go watch the video on my Viva page. Go share it with your friends, please. This is how you support your art. Share the video with your friends. Comment and subscribe. You see me, I said, she now nah, give it away. And this song is dedicated to the faithful lady. The real wife to them. The real wife material, this song is yours. She now nah, give it away. Video out now. Song produced by Kabaka Pyramid. Reggae music, finest, you know what I'm saying? Live reggae music, live instrumentation. Warm, easy reggae music. If you're listening, pleasure, do you need to say? Even when I go a million miles away, <laughs> my baby says her loving for me. She not give it away. Yeah, man. Hey. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on the <laughs> island of Jamaica, we say uh, mm -hmm. that a lot of people really are passionate about reggae. Reggae music yeah. is, is everything to them. Comment to us, yeah. what reggae music mean to you and to your life? It means everything, man. Reggae music is 100% Jamaican, like myself. You know, reggae music is, is, is our music, is, is, is a universal language. You know, um, it is amazing. I, I mean, places like, like, look, look at this now. I'm, I'm doing an interview, not for a, a Jamaican station, but a station in San Andreas. You know, so reggae music brought us together and it brings a lot more, you know, people together. So reggae music is a universal language, man, I believe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Very it's wonderful. everything to me. <laughs> very wonderful, very wonderful. We know that reggae music yeah. comes from social meaning and 
social uh, whether you want to communicate something about that uh, happening mm. in the society and so forth but yeah. I have listened yeah. to your music and you are very romantic lyrics you sing all the time for yeah. the girls them, to the girls them. <laughs> yeah I mean you won't sing certain things on a reggae beat but reggae music is, is, is a wide it's a, it's, a, it's a wide thing that you can express a lot of things and you know love you know what I'm saying upliftment stuff encouraging stuff you know what I'm saying inspiring stuff you know what I'm saying? Social commentary. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you have a lot of facets eh, in the reggae music, but you don't know um, the music is a lover first, huh? <laughs> <laughs> when, yeah. when, when we listen to, to reggae music, really, we connect to the vibe. It might be mm -hmm. because we are Caribbean people and, and, and we yeah. come from Africa, all One... the sound and all them beats. Make we feel comfortable, make we feel nice, make we feel connected yes. to it. What is that instrument yeah. in reggae music that makes people feel that way, feel that nice vibe? E Excellent question, my friend. Excellent question. Now, as as as, as my version was saying before, you know, I'm reggae music, you know, it's, 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 it says uplifting stuff or whatever. And, but regardless of what you say on it, one thing I learned from 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 Dana from Germany, I have to give him credit from Pentos. He, he says once you can listen to the, the, the beat itself and, and it, it makes you move, that's when you know a, a, a beat is ready. In you know, reggae music, the most um, dominant thing is the drum and bass. You know what I'm saying? So once you have a good drum pattern and a good bass line. That makes it undeniable to so anybody. If, if even if you never heard reggae music before, when when you hear a good drum pattern and a good bass line, you, you, you won't. You, you'll be you, you'll just something on you moving. Whether you're tapping your feet, snapping your fingers, or something, or your head just bopping, you know what I'm saying? Undeniable man, reggae music. Yeah. <laughs> Very wonderful. Drum and bass. Drum mm -hmm. and the bass. Uh, uh, you do mm -hmm. reggae, you do reggae music exclusively. What do you have think uh, about um? Make the transition from reggae music to dancehall music anytime in your life? Yeah. I do I do a little dance hall as well. You know, um, as I say, 100 percent Jamaican. Um but most people know me for, for, for my reggae songs, which you know I think those reach far further and wider. And it's it's probably my strength. I won't fight that, you know. Um and I won't go against that. But I'm a fan of of, of, of all kinds of music. And I will experiment, you know, from time to time. And it's up to the fans and the masses to, to choose if they like it or not. You know what I'm saying? But I will, I will, I will pay attention to whatever, you know, the masses, you know, I'm seeing to gravitate to what image I create and keep feeling that they see. You know what I mean? Nice. Many artists have a iconic song or a hit that really uh, reminds mm -hmm. them a moment in their life. Which one is that mm -hmm. hit that you would always say, this song remind me something very special in my artistic life? As in one of my songs or just song in general? One of your songs. Wow. Until that's, today. That's, that's a lot. <laughs> that's, that's, that's hard. <laughs> I mean, it depends. It depends what territory, because different territories, you know, like, um, different songs. There's, there are songs that I perform in Jamaica zero times and there are songs that like when I go certain places I have to perform. You know, I have to even sometimes relearn the song for myself, you know, so that's and that is the magical thing and the mystical thing about the music. Too. You know, you just never know. But that is hard, you know. Um, most of re real no real is a song that I, I perform everywhere. That's what I love about it. You know, most places I can perform those. So, it just depends on the mood too, on the occasion, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we yeah. have a lot of artists in the island, in the whole entire archipelago. We're talking about San Andreas Providence and Ketlina, which are, uh, they mm. are projecting to international fields and trying to do music the right way. They're looking up to artists like you mm -hmm. and seeing what you're doing mm -hmm. to, to, to pattern what you're doing to, to, get, to reach mm -hmm. a certain level. What would, would, mm -hmm. would you tell these artists for them to keep on and don't stop and keep on doing good music as well. It takes time. You, you have to dedicate a lot of time to it. So it's not overnight, you know. Once you, you have to love it. First and foremost, you have to love it. Not see the finished product and, and feel like, yeah, that's what I want. No, you have to really love it, you know, because it's, it's a lot of ups and downs and things. But 
any artist that you feel like you align yourself with good music, send me a DM. You know what I'm saying? Let me hear what you have. If I feel like I can do justice, you never know. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, big up to, 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 to every upcoming artist. Big up to your platform, the music, for supporting, um, you know, all, all artists as well and, and pushing the culture and the music. You know what I'm saying? Watch out now. It's the music and the major. But a good look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is about yeah. car carrying music, carrying your culture through the music, carrying all them nice feelings that make the people feel connected with you, with music. Yeah. The Major, thank mm -hmm. you a lot for your time. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for pushing the, the, the music. And the music, I hope you all push that. She now give it away, you know, for the, for the faithful ladies and for the couples, for the lovers. It's a message, you know, Sun and Joyous Island. And until we meet again, it's love and respect, see? Yeah, man. Hope, hope yeah. all this pass off early, quick, very soon, so we can see you on stage once more. Yeah. All right? You're welcome. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Every Big time. And um, bless yes. up, bless up, same way. Love. Thank you very much. Love, respect. All right. Yeah, so, man. Every talk time. about a nice, yeah. nice back to back from D Major right here in a damn music magazine. Love. Always